Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs, and today we're going to take a look at creating some black and white photos in a very simple way. We're going to start out with a black and white adjustment layer and then tweak that to our personal taste. Photoshop gives us multiple ways to access the same tools, and so I'm going to show you three different ways to put a black and white adjustment layer over your color photograph, and then you can decide which way works best for you. The very first way is to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Black and White. The second way is to go to your Layers panel, and at the bottom of that there is a circle that's half black and half white. Click on that and go to Black and White. Or, my favorite way, because I always have my Adjustment panel open, is to click on the icon that is the rectangular. It's half black, half white and that will put the adjustment layer on my photo right away. And here it is, black and white, right over my photo. Any way that I put that black and white adjustment layer over the photo, I'm going to come up with this dialog box here. And this is where we will have all our fun today. By default, you will get this image. And if you're happy with that, it's fine. Save it, print it, do whatever you're going to do with it and just be done. But if you want to play with it a little bit more, you do have some other options. In the preset menu, you have different filters that are already set for you by Adobe. I'm going to click on the very first one and it's immediately reflected in the photo. If I use my down pointing arrow on my keypad, I will cycle through those other presets and I can very quickly see if any of them or anything that I like. I kind of like that uh, neutral density filter, so I think I'm going to start with that. The next thing I'd like to do is point click on this hand with the finger that's pointing up. I can use that to drag in my image any colors that I want to adjust. I'm going to bring it a little bit to the right because I want to make it lighter. Let's bring it all the way and you can see what that does and all the way to the left. But that's obviously just for uh, demonstration purposes. I'm going to bring it up maybe to about here. I kind of like that. Now if I wanted to play with these sliders a little bit more, I could do that. Actually that's kind of nice. And I could also layer on top of the adjustment layer other adjustment layers. <laughs> That's a lot of adjustments. Let's look at a, a levels adjustment. Move this picture over here a little bit. And I think I'll bring up that white point just a little bit. And I like that. This is without it, and this is with it. I would call that good. I would say I was very happy with that, and I would print that, save it, and be done. But don't forget that you have lots of other options here. Let's go back to the black and white. If you want to add a tint to your photo, you can do that by clicking this box here. It comes up with this real light beige. You can click in the box to bring up the color picker and choose any other color that you want to work with as well. But by playing with the tint, sometimes you can get a really nice sepia tone. Let's see if I can get one really quickly. getting one right now. I might want to play with that beige color, with that tint. I did get one earlier that I liked. I didn't record the exact color of it though. Um, I think that's it for today. You can play with all of these options, come up with anything you like. If at this point I didn't like this tint and I wanted to go back to the default, I just go back to the default, start all over again. That's how easy it is. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. See you next week.